This footage was taken at the Fujitsu factory in northern Japan one month ago. You can see how all the equipment starts to shake. The earthquake wasn't a brief one, it lasted a while. This camera was secured, so it shows how much the building rocked. You can see how much the computers and monitors, this one actually fell over, are shaking. Benno Zollner regularly talks to managers at Fujitsu sites across Europe about the current situation in Japan. So thanks for the call. Um, yesterday was another earthquake, actually, but uh, we have received already the information from Japan that the factory was not affected by that, which is good news. Check all the incoming products. The company is flying staff out of Japan, collecting donations and securing the supply chain, tasks they've never had to do before. Here in Europe, I'm the go-to man in crisis situations. What with the earthquake, the tsunami and the subsequent nuclear disaster, we're now in a situation where we're having to think about how we can protect our colleagues and ensure that production continues. Radiation protection for the parts is very important. We're working together very closely with our colleagues in Japan and checking the goods that leave the factories. We're also working with the German authorities, the Federal Office for Radiation Protection and the Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation and Nuclear Safety. Airport customs are also running thorough checks. We've introduced additional checks for radioactive contamination in the factories here as well. Fujitsu used to produce around 350 computer servers a day in its Augsburg factory. Production has now been stepped up. After the earthquake, it was decided that production in Asia should be partly shifted to Germany. The 1,800 workers employed here are all working extra shifts. Within two days, we were manufacturing and shipping the products to Asia. Ultimately, customers didn't notice any change. The custom stamp on the packaging would have shown that the goods came from Germany and not Japan, but the customers wouldn't have noticed. Fujitsu manufactures notebooks, computers and accessories all over the world. And that's an advantage. If production at any one site is impaired, another can pick up the slack. And that's what's happened here in Germany. The system works because employees are used to working flexi-time. Fujitsu Germany employs a number of Japanese staff in its development division. Since the earthquake, Hiroaki Kondo often thinks of home. He's in constant contact with family and friends there, especially his father. He dropped and he hit his head. And after that, he, he moved to the, the, the hospital by the ambulance. And uh, at that moment, he didn't have any conscience. Therefore, the doctor called me, and uh, maybe this is the last chance to, to, to see him. Therefore, I immediately back to Japan. But afterward, he recovered a lot. It will still be a while before production in Japan picks up again. Until then, Fujitsu Germany is helping out. <laughs>